Okay, review time. This is a GE Energy Smart light bulb, A19 in shape, uh, 800 lumens, 11 watts, 25,000 hour uh, service life, all class competitive numbers for uh, late 2014, early 2015. Okay, I uh, saw the top off, of course. It's just a plastic uh, diffuser. The emitter array is uh, interesting. It's a planar array, but they put a diffuser collar on, so these two LEDs get to dissipate their light downwards, and then all these other LEDs, the light has to bounce off the dome first before going out uh, sideways. So uh, I should imagine that does produce a relatively good uh, emulation of an A-shaped uh, light bulb light pattern. Okay, the bulb starts to reveal its secrets. There actually is a listing number up here. I'll just insert a little larger picture. Uh, and uh, let's open up the database here and uh, sort out uh, who created at least this circuit board material. Okay, it looks like the uh, emitter PCB is adhered to this uh, metal uh, heat sink. And below that is a cartridge style uh, AC to DC converter. A gray material, of course, potting compound hiding all the secrets inside of it, and that has to be removed uh, to see the internal construction of the bulb. Okay, this is the uh, circuit board inside that potting compound. Uh, a very simple circuit board. It's single sided, there's no traces on the top. You can see if you use a jumper wire. Uh, that's interesting. The only other single-sided circuit board I tore down is a Phillips bulb, and that bulb eventually failed because uh, of solder joint fractures. Of course, there's no vias going through the circuit board material. I wonder if all single-sided circuit boards suffer such a fate, or if it was just a one-off. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. The topology looks pretty straightforward. There are safety components here. There's a fuse. Uh, there's some inductors, I presume, or the filters for EMI. Uh, sorry, con for conducted emissions. Uh, a transformer, of course, an electrolytic capacitor, there will be probably a diode, here it is, for half-wave rectification. Uh, the one thing I don't notice is actually any integrated circuits. Uh, this is probably a MOSFET, and I presume this is uh, basically a relaxation oscillator, a, a very, very simple topology. And I'm a bit surprised, because most vendors uh, put down fairly sophisticated integrated circuits onto their controller, and uh, I don't think that's present here. Uh, in terms of uh, listings, in terms of UL or CSA, I don't see any markings on this board. Okay, thermal testing. Uh, I'll set a picture here of my neat new nifty thermal camera add-on for my iPhone. And you can see the colors of the light bulb, the base here being a brighter color indicating, of course, it's warmer, and the uh, little seek thermal engine is telling me the hottest temperatures on the heat sink. Not too surprising, that's probably a pretty typical pattern of most light bulbs which have a metal heat sink and a plastic top. Another bulb, uh, this is the Cree 4 Flow. Uh, there's also the Philips uh, Slim Style which have a very different uh, heat pattern. I'll just insert the picture of the uh, 4 Flow. And now you can see on the 4 Flow here the heat uh, is about, seems about the same, the high temperature about 70 degrees. But that's actually the circuit board looking through the little vents. On the surface of the bulb, if I zoom into another picture here, you can see the plastic's actually about 20 degrees less. So uh, the GE bulb is sort of showing the old school, and uh, these bulbs here with the uh, new approach showing a much cooler surface temperature. This is just light pattern graph light coming out of the bulb. Um, this kind of seems to indicate there's a sort of a bulge on one side and it's a little bit in, inwards on the other side. I'm not sure if that's because uh, my bulb is rotated or something, but it's mostly a side firing bulb, and that's actually a fairly good emulation of an old incandescent. Not so much uh, light coming out the top. So the flicker test, solar cell here, light bulb here, and then of course a uh, output on the oscilloscope showing me the uh, voltage coming from the solar cell. And uh, no surprise, uh, you can see a classic 120 hertz waveform, that's uh, the uh, evidence of flicker. And if I zoom the camera in here really close to the bulb, you can see the characteristic banding of, of a flicker on the bulb. Okay, yet another data point, uh, an unusual diffuser arrangement using a, a plastic cap like this trying to bounce light over. I presume there must be some efficiency loss with that. A bit surprising. Uh, the controller board also a bit of surprise with only uh, a single-sided assembly. And uh, what appears to be no controller I see. Uh, it seems like a really simple topology. Simpler than I perhaps would have expected. Okay, that was the uh, GE Energy Smart 60 Watt Equivalency LED light bulb.